Hi everyone, it is time for a new video and today is going to be my fall TBR. So I have a giant stack here and I am determined to have like the most coziest autumnal time of my life. I don't think that at this point I really have a favorite season. I, if I had to choose, it, it would be spring, but I feel like the vibes of that when it comes to books especially, is never like as strong. I, again, am determined to have the best time ever. I do just have like my physical books here. I do have a lot. Um, there's definitely a lot more that I wanna read, but today we're just talking about the books that I already own that I wanna get to in the next three months or so. So the first book that I have here is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. I've been talking about like wanting to get back into fantasy for a thousand years. And again, with fall coming up, like, I'm just like, this is the perfect time. Um, I've been wanting, like, this summer, I've been waiting for, like, colder weather so that I could be mo more motivated to read fantasy. Because, like, that is just what I associate with it the most. And this is supposed to be, like, a super cozy, like, historical fantasy situation where the main character just has, like, half a soul because she made, like, a deal before that, like, caused her half her soul or something. I don't exactly remember, but this is a very popular book that I've had for a while, and I just feel like fall would be the perfect time to read it. So, um, this is happening. Um, then I have A Fantasy Romance, which just has, like, this book screams, like, Halloween, October so hard. Like, just look at that, you know? Um, <laughs> and that is Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster. So, I heard about this book, like, maybe two years ago at this point, and um, uh, Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life really loved this. And I don't feel like we have the exact same taste, but like when she really loves a book and recommends a romance, I feel like there's a high chance I'm also gonna love it. And so I've been wanting to read this for ages. I don't know anything about it, <laughs> but it is the first book in a fantasy romance series. Definitely wanna read this in October, like close to Halloween. I feel like it's just gonna be perfect. So, yes. I feel like also, let me know how you feel, but I feel like in my head, September and November have a very different vibe than October. Like, September and November, I'm just like the pumpkin fall leaves vibes, like orange and, you know, brown and all of that. And October is just like black, deep, dark colors <laughs> and just like spookier vibes. Let me know if you agree. Let me know how you feel. So this definitely screams October, um, so <laughs> yeah. So then I have a book that I absolutely adore that I have read, and I have a plan that I want to reread the entire series. So that starts with Wolf Gone Wild by Juliet Cross. This is like the best paranormal series ever. The only thing that kind of ruined, ruined my plans is that I'm pretty sure the books are getting traditionally published and they're not available for sale, at least not the paperbacks right now, which is the worst thing ever. I'm so happy for Juliet Cross, but I'm absolutely devastated because I have the first book, third, fourth, and fifth book, I think. Um, and I don't have the second or the most recent. And I'm sure it's gonna look different. And so like, you know, if you love paranormal romance, you have to read these. They are super fun and action-packed. The romances are so strong. The found family is wonderful. There's like, you know, all the like classic like vampires, werewolves, witches. Like if you were a fan of like Twilight, the Vampire Diaries, Teen Wolf and all that shit, it gives those vibes so much. It's like a little bit more modern or whatever. And it's the best thing ever. I adore the series, one of my favorite things in the world. And I have never, I it, I still read it like quite recently, either last year or the year before that I started it. And uh, so I still remember it quite well, but not as much as I would like. And I just want to reread it. I want to experience the books again. And um, the fall is definitely going to be the perfect time to do that. So I do think that like the new versions of the books are coming out on like November 4th or something like that. Then I have another book that just screams Halloween to me, which is The Hidden Moon by Jeannie Lynn. I've had this for a while and it's supposed to be like a mystery historical romance situation, which I personally don't like mystery, but one of my friends that I really trust recommended this to me a while ago and I feel like I just need to give it a try. And the thing is, I don't hate mysteries on their own. <laughs> 
It's just like usually in like just mysteries, it is just way too boring for me and I don't care about the mystery part because I'm not a plot person. But if the characters are amazing, the romance is amazing, and they just solve the mystery together or whatever, then I'm, you know, I'm still down to experience that. A well-bred lady and a lowly street hustler team up in a historical murder mystery set during China's glittering Tang Dynasty. So, sounds really cool. So, I really just want to give it a try. And again, the cover has, a be like, it has stunning vibes. So, that is absolutely happening. So... Um, another book that gives me September vibes <laughs> is Work For It by Talia Hibbert. So this is a book that I have actually started, so we will definitely be finishing that very soon. And um, I love this book. This is another reread. I just really want to start rereading more. And this gives me really cozy vibes. That's not like super strong autumnal, autumnal things. I don't even know exactly what season it is, but it is like in a small town that feels really cozy. And um, I love this book so much. It is a queer MM romance about two very grumpy heroes who both suffer from depression and they feel really lonely in different ways, but they are very different. One of them is like a quiet one who like, you know, has walls around himself and the other one is like a flirty, charming one who also has a lot of deep-rooted issues. <laughs> and so it is a really beautiful romance that does dive deep into the mental issues but it's just also like really soft and wonderful and it is a book that no one ever talks about by Tally Hibbert and it is just still absolutely incredible and more people should read it and I do feel like even the cover gives me just kind of like s slight autumnal vibes. Then I have a book that I've been wanting to read for ages that I feel like again now is just the perfect time. I also did start reading it and it is A Far Wilder Magic by Alison Saft. So this is a standalone YA fantasy romance and um, I, they go on this like forbidden hunt together or something, looking for a legendary fox creature. I started, the things that I read in the beginning, loved it. Why did I put it down? I have no idea. So I just think I'm absolutely gonna love this. I think it's gonna be really atmospheric and the romance is gonna be really cute and fun. And so I just need to read this as soon as possible. Then I have a book that so many people have been hyping and that is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I have heard so many people talk about this and I have no idea what I'm gonna think about it. So I'm trying to go into it with an open mind. I'm not really expecting to fall in love with it but I hope that the book could surprise me. I feel like it has really old school YA vibes that like that's what I feel from what people have said. I don't actually know if that's true, but like I feel like if I'm gonna be, when I'm gonna be in the right mood for this, I think it could be really amazing. Then I have um, Witch I Gonna Do by Avery Flynn. So I feel like there's been a really big rise in like new paranormal romances. And the thing is, I feel like one issue that a lot of them have is it feels like it's contemporary with a little bit of magic. So like the Juliet Cross series does not have that feeling at all. It like is full on paranormal. And I feel like at the same time, I have not actually tried a, lo a lot of the new um, paranormal, paranormal romances. And the covers give me like the contemporary vibes, but I'm like, you know what, who knows what's on the inside. <laughs> and so I do really want to dive in um, into that. But again, this is just such a beautiful cover that I don't care. I, and I did actually also start this one. So I was enjoying it, but I wasn't like completely loving it. And I do think that once the time is right, it will push me to read it and it will be fun. I don't know if it's gonna be like um, the best ever, but I do think it could be entertaining at least. So um, I remember that it, it says an unlucky witch and her know-it-all nemesis must team up in the first of a new spicy romantic comedy series. So I think it is gonna be cute and fun. And yeah, speaking of books like this, I also have um, A Witch's Guide to Fae Dating a Demon by Sarah Howley. So again, a super cute cover. And I saw, I think it was Anita Kelly posting about this. And I love Anita Kelly's books so much. And I feel like um, if they love it, I could also love it. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't know. A Witch Sums Up a Demon. Like, that just sounds super fun. And they're gonna fake date? Like, absolutely. So... Um, yeah, let me know what books, uh, what paranormal romances you recently read that you liked 
or ones that you want to read, especially. Like, I am very interested to see what the new releases are like. And I haven't heard almost anyone talk about any of them. And that makes me nervous that, like, they're not that good. But, like, I just need to stop always waiting for other people's opinions to feel like I'm gonna enjoy a book and just give them a try. Like, DNFing is a thing. And, like, you know? <laughs> Anyways, the next book that I have here is The Sunbearer Trials by Aidan Thomas. I just need to read this book. I can't believe I didn't read it. Also, if you have not read Cemetery Boys, you n have to do that and you absolutely have to do that in October. Like the most perfect, perfect book to read in October, in the fall. Like you have to do that. And I know this is not an October TBR. I am actually filming this on September 5th, but I do think it's going to go up in like two weeks maybe. So like October is getting close. Please pick that up if you haven't yet. Like, no, like, Please, just look at the cover. Look at the cover. Like, come on. Anyway, um, <laughs> this doesn't necessarily have that vibe. It is, like, high fantasy. That one is paranormal uh, or, like, urban fantasy. And um, that being said, I'm a little bit intimidated by the plot of this. Because I think someone said it's, like, Percy Jackson meets Hunger, Game, Hunger Games. And I'm there for the Percy Jackson. Not sure if I'm there for the Hunger Games. And that being said, I love Aiden Thomas. And... I just want to read this. So, um, then we have The Atlas Six by Olivia, by Olivia Blake. For some reason, all of her books give me, um, spooky vibes. Like, there, there's The Masters of Death and the one, one for my enemy or something like that. And I'm just like, I need to read all of these in the fall. And so I've been waiting for the fall to finally read The Atlas Six. So it needs to happen. <laughs> And I am definitely going to vlog about it. I'm really curious to see what I'm going to think about it. At this point, I'm like a little bit nervous because there's just so many mixed opinions. But I do think there's a high chance I could love it. And so I just need to give it a try. And I do want to buy the books of the the other books that I just mentioned. Because again, I just feel like it, it's just so perfect for the fall. Then I have a book that is also very beautiful. And that is Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. I haven't heard almost anyone talk about this, but I got it for the cover, not gonna lie. It was also on sale back when I bought it. And I think it might be quite like a basic YA fantasy with some romance that has like slightly darker vibes, but I feel like I won that experience, you know? The little description says, a darkly enchanting fantasy debut about a morally gray witch, a cursed prince, and a prophecy that ignites their fate-twisted destinies. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds really fun. So I do think it could be like a really quick read. Um, again, feels perfect for the fall. So yeah, I will keep on saying that because just, you know. Speaking of perfect for fall, I finally need to read The Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sanju Mandana. I've been wanting to read this since it came out. I have a very strong feeling that I'm absolutely going to love it. And I don't know why I still haven't read it. So um, I do have a bookmark inside it. And I read 14 pages, so. <laughs> and last but not least, I want to read Cursed Crowns by um, Catherine, Doyle, Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. I have this beautiful edition that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I also just love this cover so much. I actually do have the first book next to me. So this is a trilogy, I think. Um, and it is YA fantasy. And I read this recently. And I don't know if the vlog where I read it is going to be up. But if it is, I'm going to link it down below. And I loved this. And I'm so excited to read this one. And I really highly recommend this series if you haven't picked it up yet. It feels just like the like easy to read, super addicting, fun YA fantasy vibes that don't have any like super spectacular concepts, but still feels fresh and exciting. And it has really amazing two romantic subplots. And it's about two sisters who were separated at birth and didn't know that the other existed. One of them grew up with witches and the other is like the crown princess. And the one who grew up with witches um, basically kidnap like, has her friend kidnap the princess so that she can be, like, pretend to be the princess and take over the throne. And it is just super fun. So addicting. Wonderful. Love the characters. Love the romances. And I highly recommend it. I haven't heard enough people talk about it. So it is getting dark, so I really need to shut up. But this is definitely happening. So that is my giant TBR. I am super excited if that wasn't clear. And um, I also get really excited because I feel like other people go really hard 
when it comes to the autumnal spooky vibes. And so I want to do the same. So um, let me know what books you want to read in the fall and um, leave any kind of fall emoji down below. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!